In sports, Hopkinton won a couple TVL championships. The Hopkinton Swimming and Diving Team won their fifth straight TVL title. The Hopkinton Hillers Swim and Dive Team not only won the TVL championship, but displayed great sportsmanship throughout the season and was rewarded by the Massachusetts Interscholastic Athletic Association with the Swimming Sportsmanship Award. The Hopkinton Hillers girls took home the TVL Indoor Track and Field Championship, outscoring Norton 92-83. The Hopkinton Hillers met up with undefeated Westwood Wolverines on senior night. Before we get to the highlights, here is a look at the senior night festivities. Uh, future competitions. I'm going to quickly turn it over to the cheerleading coach. Coach Zwang is going to come up to honor the senior cheerleaders, and then we'll do the senior boys. Coach Zwang. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, everyone. First, I want to wish the boys varsity basketball team the best of luck this evening and the rest of your season. I also want to commend the varsity cheerleaders not just for their preparation for games, but for their preparation for our competitive season, which kicks off this Sunday at Whitman Hanson at 4 o'clock. This season, we will be also defending our fourth or third consecutive, going for our fourth consecutive Tri-Valley League Championship. Our successes would not at all be possible without our four senior cheerleaders. They have been incredibly committed, dedicated, passionate and shown a ton of heart in the four years they've cheered for us. So thank you girls. I'm going to start with Lauren Cameron with her parents Kathy and Rick. Next we have Rachel Demore with her parents Liz and Andrew. Next we have Savannah Schultz with her mom Gail. I don't know where she is. There she is. There's a reason for the delay. And last but certainly not least, Senior Captain Kim Cardillo with her parents, Cindy and John. Thanks, girls. A few other people that I'd like to thank before we call out the seniors. I'd like to thank our senior managers for four great years. They did a fantastic job all four years. So I'd like to thank Kendra LePage and Riley Kopp. Right over here. Okay, now to recognize the senior players for their four years in the program. The first one I'd like to call out would be Mike Malou with his parents, Joseph and Rima. Next is Chase Lampert with his parents, Jerry and Sue. This is Mitch Nagel and parents, Brad and Kathy. Next is Hayden Pereira with his mom, Tiffany. And Patrick Ryan with his parents, John and Gail. The Hillers put on a senior night show and gave the undefeated Wolverines all they could handle. Matt Allegretta puts this one in for Westwood to make it 33 to 31. That would be the score at the half. Late in the fourth quarter, Hopkinton led 60 to 57. Will Jessup for three, trying to tie, and he draws the foul. Jessup hit all three free throws to send it into overtime. Westwood led 66 to 61 at one point in overtime, but Hopkinton responded. Matlock hits this two to put Hopkinton down by one, 68 to 67. Then the Hillers turn it over on an errant pass, but Westwood misses both free throws. Jake Doherty draws the foul for two free throws. First shot is no good. Second free throw, mm, good. That sends the game to the second overtime with a score tied at 68. Matt Locke with the layup to put Hopkinton within 172 to 71. And this free throw put Westwood up 77 to 74 with two seconds left. Final chance for the Hillers. The pass to Pereira. The Pereira of a shot, and it's no good. Westwood wins an epic battle, 77 to 74. Matt Locke had 23 points for the Hopkinton Hillers, while Matt Allegretta had 29 points for Westwood. Hopkinton fell to eight and eight, while Westwood improved to 16 and 0. On Saturday, February 7th, Hillers hockey beat Ashland 6 to 2 to improve to 6 8 and 2 on the season. The following players each had one goal and one assist. Owen Delaney, Brandon O'Leary, Brandon Carty, and Kim Finlayson. 